Vincenzo here with a new UKLA tutorial. This week, let's learn a really cool song by the Beatles, I Fall Fine. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to strum the entire song in the original key. But let me tell you that the riff and the solo of I Fall Fine are super cool. And if you want to learn them, check out the description of this video where you can find a tutorial for them. But anyway, let's get straight to it. This song is quite easy to play and the chords that you need are G7 and G, D7 and D, C7 and C, and B minor. Now let's start working on the verse. The strumming pattern for the verse goes like this. Three, four, down, 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 up, down. This will sound a bit different when played at the tempo of the song, which is quite fast. Three, four. You see? Anyway, let me play the strumming pattern one more time slowly. Three, four. Down, 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 up, down. This is the chord progression for the verse. Let's play it following the strumming pattern you've just learned. Three, four, G7. G7, 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 D7, 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 C7, G7, G7, one more time, G7, 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 D7, D7. For the chorus, let's use a different strumming pattern. If you follow me, you know it's better to use different strumming patterns for different sections of a song. Having said that, the strumming pattern for the chorus goes like this. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. One more time, three, four, down, down, up, up, down. This is the chord progression for the chords. Let me play it for you. Three, four, G, B minor, C, D, G, B minor, C, D. Okay, now you know the main parts of the song. But if you want to play it all, you're missing the intro and the solo. The chord progression for the intro is this one. Here you can just strum each chord once, like this. 3, 4, D7, 2, 3, 4, C7, 2, 3, 4, G7, 2, 3, 4, G7, 2, 3, 4. The reason you play something so simple here is that you don't want to have anything in the way of the riff, which, by the way, I suggest you learn. Remember, I have a tutorial on it, which you can find in the description. The other section that you're missing is the solo. This is the chord progression. As you can see, it's similar to the one of the verse. And so here you can simply use the strumming pattern you learned for the verse. Let me play it for you. 3, 4, G7. 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 D7. solo, check out my other tutorial for this song. Now you know all the sections of the song, and this is the structure. In the last verse, they repeat the ending part of it one extra time, meaning they repeat D7, C7 and G7 twice, and then there is a fade out. For the play along, I'm gonna be playing the verse and the chorus, and then you can decide how to arrange your own cover of this song. The tempo will be 180 BPM. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing.
this tutorial was to give you an overview of I Feel Fine by the Beatles, so that you can put together your own cover of it. On my Patreon page, you can find the chord chart and the backing tracks that you need for practicing this. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. Of course, you will also find the tabs for the riff and the solo. By the way, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you managed to learn this song. And if you want to take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-Step Roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process I follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!